Winter is coming. Bonjour, bonjour, fragrance lovers. This is Clémence. I talk about fragrance. Uh, welcome back. In today's video, we talk about full fragrance because winter is coming. I like to get like my scents a little bit more warmer, but not too much. I'm diving through my fragrance collection to change a little bit my routine and get some full scents. So let's go. Here are my 10's favorite. Staple of my collection, one of my favorite full scent and actually one of the first niche fragrance I ever got in my collection. And this is 18 Bob Nuit de Megev. I do love a good vetiver, especially for fall. Okay, it's a bit cliche. Trees are starting to be a bit yellow. The leaves are falling down. Why not getting something a little bit more greener, more smoky? A very easy to wear fragrance. It's beautifully done, but very simple. And it's not a harsh vetiver. It's not something that's going to smell like the ground. It's very elegant. And I love the fact that at the end, you have a twist of tone cabin that makes it slightly warmer. But beware. It's not because I say tone cabin that it's going to be vanilla like more definitely on the woody side and on the greener aspect. When I smell that directly, I want to be cozy by the fireplace. I'm actually going to wear that today. And I love the fact that I know I can wear that every day. It does have a little bit of freshness, so you're not completely into a dry, dry scent. It's Creed Royal Wood. My favorite Creed so far. Don't be tricked by the name Royal Wood doesn't mean there's a lot of wood and animalic note. Not at all. This is Creed, guys. Hello. What do you expect? Hey, what did you expect? The wood is more like a backbone to give a little bit of ah, t -t 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 a little bit of warmth in, in the background of the fragrance. It's much more like a cedar, dry cedar fragrance. So a little bit piney, a little bit foresty, and you get a lot of dry spices, a cold spices. Very royal, like it said, because it's not too opulent and it's made to perfection. I love the fact that it's very meticulous and with She's Night with Creed is you don't get something that is too complicated. So definitely it's something that you can wear easily, but how elegant is this fragrance? I love it during fall. I don't know why, it's always a time of the year where I'm a little bit stressed, which it's always the case. Okay, okay, okay. I do enjoy a little bit of lavender to soothe me down. That's why I love my rehab from Initial. This is so beautiful. Oftenly compared to Spice Bomb, the lavender is much more present in there. And the trail is gorgeous. Initial's fragrance, they have a signature that is for me very powdery. So once you wear an Initial, like you can follow the person from very far away because that's this long projection powdery trail. But with this one, I don't need to spray a lot. <laughs> to spray, I'm done. For me, it's very cloudy. It's very soothing. It's like a velvet cover on your shoulders. Full time, it's a little bit more greener and you can be green in flowers as well. Lady Blanche, one of my staples in my collection too. I love this fragrance. It's for the people that like flowery but green. For example, 19 from Chanel. The vibe, the same vibe is there. Narcissus flower that gives a little bit of a narcotic feeling, nearly poisonous. I don't know how to explain it, but it's very addictive. It's a very simple composition, elegant and for me a timeless scent. I do wear that, for example, when I want to go to restaurant, when I want to feel ladylike, that's the vibe. Maison Margiela Jazz Club. I wanted to talk about by the fire because it's beautiful and it seems to very be appropriate for the season. But I can't get rid of my Jazz Club. I 100% prefer it. I love the cigar touch in there. It's not too smoky, guys, though. And it smells a bit vanilla-like with a hint of cocktail, uh, like rum touch in there. You can wear that super easily. That got me so much compliment from women and from men. Suits both gender very easily. I think it gives the warmth that is going to drive me to winter scent. Super warm, but not enough to be intoxicated, which is perfect for full. It's my second bottle. It was my Christmas scent last year, actually. <laughs> Christmas scent. Fall is a good season also to get your lever on again. Elegance Cuiré by Plume Impression. This is a beautiful niche fragrance house. If you don't know, it's very underrated. I had the occasion to smell all the collection. And I have to say, I was mind blown by the fact that the smell are so meticulous. With the time, it changed. It, it does surprise you and evolve on your skin. You get that flowery tone. And it's actually one of the levers that I found that it's 
more comfortable and more easy to wear because sometimes leather can be challenging a bit harsh we don't want all to smell that very skin sometimes animalic scent the leather is there but made in a little bit of a warmer way you get really addicted you want to smell it again and again super elegant again i love fall like uh, fall is like the elegant season no i forget this fragrance you're being all year round and when it's full i go back to it and it's coco noir um for me, Coco Noir, it's like a Coco Mademoiselle with a twist. When I was working in Chanel, we used to describe this as the light into the darkness. Because indeed, you've got a lot of tone cabin, so vanilla-like touch. And it's cut out with a hint and very strong scent of bergamot. So it's a perfect balance between rich darkness and something fresh flowery rosy super feminine it's a very stylish fragrance to me i wear that when my outfit is legit okay lover of amber i love a good amber i love the warmth i love the mystery that amber bring in the fragrance this is a good time for me to bring back ambre cello by l'orchestre parfum i've got the golden bottle but if you buy it you get a normal bottle like this, but they're beautiful too. I love the quality of uh, L'Orchestre Parfum fragrances. French perfumery at its best. It's a number I never smelled before. It's extremely unique, so I highly recommend you, if you want to get this fragrance, to smell it before because this is not your casual amber warm scent. No, no, no. More waxy to me, and what is really interesting is again a very atypical and unique balance between acidity of citruses and a strong warm trail extremely bewitching i personally wear that when i've got my butt b outfit <laughs> when i want to show off i want all the eyes on me don't need to take the bottle with me in the party i know it will stay i spray a lot because i love the bewitching trail around me i feel sexy I'm on top when I wear that. A designer that is new, actually, because it's the new Jimmy Choo, I want you forever. When I tried, I was like, okay, that smells a bit cheap. Oh, if it's nicely done, why not? Definitely something I would wear during the day, and I actually like at the moment to match it with my Saint Salim Oud uh, oil, because I think it gives a bit of power to it. But by itself, the fragrance is stunning. It's a very nice, smoky, cherry accord. One of my revelation of this year was cherry a smoky scent don't ask me why i do really enjoy smoky cherry scent at the moment uh i think the 2023 will be banana banana fragrances uh, anyway like i'm <laughs> sorry it's definitely on the sweet side it's like something for women that want to feel sexy but not giving too much it's definitely for daytime beware because compare of course to the beautiful niche fragrances this smell a bit more cheaper of course uh, it's not the same price tag it's something that have a lot of potential it's a bit younger as well which i don't mind feeling because this is a very important year for me if you know what i mean to this year theo cabanel oh la la I have to say I love this fragrance because it's I don't know why like again in fall I do like a bit more spicy and nutty feeling and this this one is like nutty so beware if you don't really like that kind of smell it's a first of all very smooth with like dry sandalwood very cocooning very powdery and very enveloping actually smelling a bit like a fresh powdery gourmand in all of a lighter way which i find so elegant so this is definitely something i'm gonna wear more i was waiting for spring to wear it's just this very nutty and dry it's got a dryness in there and a big gourmand at the end it's screaming fall and autumn season i know when i wear that i'm gonna feel very unique because this is not very common scent it's something very special I hope you enjoyed the video. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a little like, tap on the little bell button if you want to follow all my videos and never miss one. It's free and it makes me happy. You want to make me happy? <laughs> oh, cheeky cheeky. I wish you a lovely day and I will see you soon.